Hey guys, it's me again, Chris, and today we're gonna be talking about this thing right here. So last video ko, I told you that I was gonna tell you more about what the hell this is. So recently, I've been having this fascination about ammo boxes. Kita nyo naman yung isang project na ginawa natin, yung power station. I made a power station using a 30 caliber plastic na power box, and I have this 50 caliber metal na ammo box. With that said, another fascination that I've been having with boxes is yung muna ikita ko sa YouTube. Hindi lang sa YouTube pala, you can see it in Instagram, Facebook. Kami mga Japanese creators kasi na ang ginagawa nila is they're making this really, really beautiful boxes na nilalagyan nila ng rack for their axe, for their knives. They may camp kitchens with those boxes. Malalaki sila. And yung iba ginagawa ang coffee bar. It looks really, really nice. Ang ganda tignan. And then, nakakita rin ako na they're doing the same thing with Stanley lunch boxes. Now, I promised myself that someday before my time is done, I'll get myself a Stanley box. The reason why I say before my time is done is because it's so expensive. Here in the Philippines, the cheapest one that I was able to find, and hindi ko pag gusto yung color na na, around 4,800 pesos. The color that I wanted was around 8,000 to 12K. They're gonna ship it from Korea or Japan, depende kung saan shop ka makabili. I think sa US, ang Stanley lunchbox na ganong kalaki, yung 9.5. 4, 9.5. I'm not sure if it's liters or ounces. Basta yung malaki. I think it's around 45 to 50 dollars. So, 2, 5 to 3,000 pesos. So, ang laki ng patong, di ba? I can ask my sister in the States to buy one for me, but I don't know if she's willing to ship it kasi ang mahal nga. Siguro pag-uwi siya, pwede. Pero that's beside the point. It's very expensive to get. Regardless, if you're gonna have someone buy it for you sa ibang bansa, or if you're gonna buy it here, mahal siya talaga. So, it's not something that I'm going to buy right now, but probably in the near future. Okay, now done. I had peace with that. Until, 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 I saw yung Wandering Trio na channel. Wandering Trio's channel is great. They glamp. Glamping yung team ng camping videos nila. They have the most awesome, the most beautiful camping gear na nakita ko. Very entertaining, very, very nice folks as well. So check their channel out. Again, yung channel nila, i leave sa description box below yung link para makita nyo. Again, until I saw them with one of those standing lunch boxes. So I got jealous and I got sad. <laughs> So, what I did was, I thought of an alternative for those coffee box projects ng Stanley and Unito. Correct me if I'm wrong, Unito yata yung Korean company na naggagawa ng mga add-ons or mods dun sa Stanley lunch boxes nila to become coffee bars. I looked for an inspiration or an idea on what I can do with the box that I had. And I found this channel, Martha Shoestrings. She has great videos about camping as well. She has different projects at camp kitchens niya. And I saw her make a coffee bar or camp kitchen using a 50 caliber ammo box similar to mine. Yung sa kanya nga lang green. So, all credits go to her. Idea na to came from her. I'm gonna use that idea. I'm just gonna add my own flavor to it, okay? Ngayon, papahit ako sa inyo kung papaling ginawa ko to make this. And also, at the end of the video, stick around kasi papahit ako sa inyo yung practical application niya to show you why I wanted one, okay? <laughs> kasi, what if I don't want to camp? What if I just wanted to go somewhere na tahimik and want to have a cup of coffee just to get away from it all? This is the solution to that. Later, I'll show you what I do with it, alright? So for now, let's take a look on the actual process na ginawa ko to build this ammo box coffee bar. Again, the idea is from Martha Shoestrings. I'll leave a link of her channel in the description box. She's great. Her videos are very fun and entertaining. I learned a lot from her as well. So check her out. So generally, ginaya ko idea niya. She used those, I think ang ginamit ng term is Z-clips, but what I know about these hinges is yung sa mga paintings or mirrors na sinasabit sa wall. Kung baga magkapato siya like so, nagpapatang siya like that. Yun yung ginamit ko. What I also needed was a riveter and rivets, of course. Now, the problem with this configuration is mabigat yung trap kasi bakal nga. So, it tips. So, I had to find a solution to that. So, I purchased one of these stands sa Shopee. Ginagamit siya sa ilalim ng bed to secure yung mga bed frames. It's adjustable. So, I bought the shortest one but it's not short enough. So, I had to cut it pa rin. It wasn't any problem. Madali naman siya i-cut since it's made of plastic. And I was able to achieve yung height na need ko for its purpose. The most challenging part dito sa build na to is drilling the hole. Dalawang beso ko napatulan ng drill bit, FYI, when I was drilling holes para dun sa hinges. So what I did was I used a step bit. Let me show you what it looks like. Which worked amazingly for the project. Ito yung step bit. It worked splendidly on this project. So this saved me. So make sure you have one of these. Mura lang siya sa Shopee. A worthy investment. If you're into DIY, that is. 
Yeah, actually, kahit hindi ka ma-DIY, it's a great piece of equipment to have when you need to drill something. So, might as well check it out. I'll leave the link sa description box below again. Okay, so I had to drill holes not only dun sa box, but pati dun sa cover. Kasi silang dalawang ikakabit ko together. So, after I drilled the holes dun sa box and dun sa stakip ng box, I just attached the hinges to the box and dun sa cover ng box with rivets. As you can see there, i-rivet mo lang siya. And you're good to go. And test ko na lang siya how it fits. Fits really well. Although, nakikita nyo dyan, may mali ako. Apat yung butas yung nakikita nyo dyan. It's because masyadong mataas. Just a word of warning. Don't make it too high. Kasi ako, I wanted to maximize the space. Masyadong mataas yung pagkakabutas ko dun sa unang holes, yung rivets. I failed to take into account na yung takip pala. Katama yung takip sa butas. So, I had to drill holes again below those first four holes that I drilled. Stupid me. Don't make that mistake, okay? Make sure na you have a couple of inches below. So, katin yung maigi. I was too excited to start the project that I failed to measure everything. Again, measure everything twice. And don't miss out on those details. Don't be like me. <laughs> okay. Again, just had to cut the stand to size para sakto siya. Kaya yeah, minimeasure ko siya dyan. Kasi, you know, masyado siya mataas. Siya na yung pinakamaleta. Siya yung pinakashort dun sa collections na mapipili mo sa Shopee. And what I used to secure this stand in place dun sa ilalim ng ammo box is sa Velcro tape. Okay, so may Velcro sa takip ng box and may Velcro din dyan sa ibabaw ng stand na yan. So, that's how they are connected. It's more than enough. Kasi, what it's supposed to do is just support the weight para hindi siya mag-tip. It's not really gonna be there to perform any other action. Yun lang. So, sufficient na yung Velcro to hold it in place. Now, ito na yung sunod na challenging part ng build. I had to make this little table right here. I made this foldable platform na to, to act as a table right here. And the only piece of wood that I have that I thought of using was, kung napanood yung last video ko, yung chopping board to done, that's it. I cut it in seven pieces and then crosswise kasi masyado siyang malapad. Well, the problem is yung seven piece, wala akong professional power tools. So I just use a hacksaw or lagaring bakal in Tagalog. Yung seven piece na sira, you can see six lang to. Okay, if I fold it like that, it's just six pieces. Bitig naman itong box ito yan, meron siyang slot here na open which later on I realized is actually a happy accident why is it a happy accident well I'm planning to buy a different butane stove kung gusto ko yung may hose para hindi masyadong dikit dun sa actual stove kasi nakakatakot so I can put the butane inside and yung hose will come out either here or sa other side and then have the stove here or here sa desk area na to so it works well in the end so now papakita ko sa inyo yung process hindi ko na papakita sa inyo yung paglagari you all know how it works lalagariin mo lang yung kahoy again I did it lengthwise and crosswise like this. Tapos papansin nyo yung number 3 nagkamali pa ako nasira ako rin siya. It's fine kasi the other wooden panel support it naman. Aside from cutting it to size I also cut grooves maybe about 2 centimeters or 3 centimeters from the edge magkabilang side para kumapit siya dito sa box and like that. See? I move it like this it's gonna stay in place kasi nakakapit na siya doon. It's biting right into the ammunition box hindi siya gagalaw okay? Another thing that I did, kasi nga, kita-kita yung imperfections eh. Ang pangit ng pagkakat ko dun sa wood because I don't have power tools, special tools for that. So I thought, hey, might as well make it look like it was made on purpose. Kunwari sila jamo to give that more rustic and rugged look. So what I did was, I attached this with regular straps, 10 cm wide. Tapos, ano ko lang, gun tacker to hold it in place. And what I did with the wood is I burned them. Very similar to this project code, my axe. I burnt it and then I applied beeswax to give it this really rustic look. To me, it looks nice. I don't know. You guys might think it's a piece of crap. But to me, it looks really nice. Uh, very rustic, very rugged it wasn't the initial look that i was going for but it's what i ended up with and i really liked it another happy accident very similar to the pagkasira ng seven panels beeswax is great with wood with whatever diy project you have some of you might want to use varnish it's really up to you but burning and applying beeswax is something that i really really like beeswax to me adds a very subtle shine that looks really great it just looks rustic and medieval yun na sa akin so i really like it if i had more tools this project would have been a whole lot easier but we work with the cards we're dealt with this is the best that i can do with what i had and i'm very proud with the results so yeah to test ko na siya so it fits really well doon sa box two thumbs up and it looks great so later on the video i will show you the actual application so ito ano lang to ah general overview of what you can put in your box so yeah i have my fire steel my ferro rod my mess tin inside 
if I need to cook anything, rice, noodles, or fry or steam anything, utensils is there, butane lighter, my alcohol stove of course, coffee, yung stand, ito yung mini chopping board <laughs> that comes along with the mess tin, actually kasama siya ng yung mess tin na lutoan, and of course my titanium pot where I boil water and make my coffee. So that's a basic configuration of what you can put inside this box. Very similar to sa mga Stanley na lunch boxes. You can put as much as you can fit. Ito basic lang to. Pang coffee lang talaga yung ginawa ko dito. And I'm gonna take you again to the park. I can't remember if I closed the video properly dun sa practical application. But if not, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit like, subscribe, share to your friends. Again, if you're gonna do these DIY projects, if you're a young kid, make sure you have adult supervision. Always research before executing your actions and please measure everything twice. Uh, don't make the same mistake that I made on this build, okay? So, yun lang, we'll switch over to the practical application, no? Ammo box, camp kitchen slash coffee bar natin. Can it's me, Chris. Everybody love everybody. Peace! So, ayun nga guys, so, so field test natin ngayon dito sa park yung ginawa natin. Ayun, ito yung isang use na yan na naisip ko. What if hindi naman ako magka-camping? You know, I just want to relax, go somewhere and have coffee. Dito ko siya magamit. So, as you can see, ang dalo ko lang is yung GoPro, itong water bottle, itong axe in case I need to chop something down. And yung ammo box na ginawa natin lunch box. Or coffee bar, I mean. So, let me just pull it out. Actually, I'm going to have a meeting here, so I'll just put it here on the side. But I'm going to pull out this one box. So guys, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not that light. Also, we'll put the water here. I'm not going to use the GoPro on the phone. Anyways, this is how it works on mine. So I'm just going to take a sit here and assemble the phone. Ammo can that in a coffee bar, okay? Yeah, we have the mess tin that we're not gonna need. Spoon and fork. So, what we're gonna need is an alcohol stove and the denatured alcohol and the titanium and not gonna want it. Coffee. What else? Okay, down pala ka dito. Sorry. Stir. Para hindi masyado may ingay. Parang kaluta. May ibang tao dito sa party na kaya. Here we go. Sandal natin. Oh, wait. Kalimutan ko. Importante ito yung stand. Yung stand niya. Yung mga stand niya. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the stand here via the velcro tape. I don't know if you can see that. Let me check. So it's here. And now, I'm going to put it this is so difficult to do with one hand, but okay, not in front. Alright, just gonna put everything in there. Okay, so now we will make our coffee. Sorry, guys, uh, again, wala akong kasama. I'm doing this with one hand. If you see something up close that you're not supposed to see, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think we have to put the so uh, yeah, it was able to. Look at my cover now, as you know. Uh, I don't know, preserved the alcohol so it didn't evaporate. I have a bunch of sugar here that I can use if I wanted to. Take it out and I'll water it off. Not too much. Okay, so we can put it on the stove now. 
Ganda siya. DIY product. You just want something quick that you can use or as a table or as a camp kitchen if you want. So it's really up to you and how you want to configure this. But basically, it has like the Stanley lunchbox. Ginagawa ng mga Japanese. Very famous with the Japanese people. So, yan. Kung wala ka pang bilhin Stanley, get an ammo box. All links in the description box below. Alright, so we're just waiting for the water to boil. This is actually pretty relaxing. You just want to get away from all your troubles. But a bad trip, ka, so maganwain. You're not gonna spend a lot of money. You just do this. Go somewhere, find a peaceful place, sit down, make a cup of coffee, and ponder about your decisions in life. <laughs> okay, so now I believe the water is ready. So we don't freak the people out. Sir, na hindi ko na papayta sa inyo iniinom ko yung kape, but I will, I promise. So madilim na kasi. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's Clark, as always. If you have any questions, if you're interested in making one of these, feel free to reach out. Again, this is Chris. Everybody love everybody. All the links in the description box below. See ya. Peace.